there are different objectives of design of experiment. Let us see the first objective that is screening. In the screening objective of uh, design of experiments, we examine the main effects of generally 6 to 15 factors to identify critical factors that have the greatest influence on the response. Sometimes you may be unaware of what are the key driving factors for the particular response. For example, low yield of the certain product may have different factors. Let us see an example. Since I have also an exposure and experience in research and development in the pharmaceutical industry, here I have taken example of a pharmaceutical company process. It is a tablet manufacturing process. Now there can be many reasons for the harness of the tablet. I am trying to make the harness of a certain parameter. If the tablet is very very hard, then it will affect the breaking of the tablets inside the stomach, which is called disintegration or it being in the solution form. So, when a tablet has to be absorbed, it uh, has to be disintegrated and it has to be in the solution form. There are different factors responsible for a single response that is hardness of the tablet. The factors may be size of the granule or powder which the tablet is made up of, density of the granule, ratio of the small and large granules, mixing time, granulation time. Similarly, there may be mechanical or tooling factors as well. For example, speed of the tableting machine or tablet producing machine, flow rate from the hopper, etc. So, the first objective of a design of experiment is screening the factors. There are various factors involved. So, in this case, we should be sticking to the objective one of design of experiment because there are more than six factors which are responsible for the response or the hardness of the tablet. I have uh, taken the term factor and response a lot of time by now. Factors are those variables that create a response. For example, size of granule may affect the hardness of the tablet or the response. And also there are other factors, total of 11 factors here including density, mixing time, granulation time, and many other factors as well. The factors may be controllable or non-controllable. Controllable factors are those factors which we can control. For example, in this example here, maybe we can control the mixing time, but we may not be able to control the density of the granule or the size of granule. So these may be the uncontrollable factors if we can't control and the, those factors which we can control is the controllable factors. Now the response is the final effect that the factors bring into the effect. So these factors are affecting the hardness of the tablet. So these factors may increase the hardness or may decrease the hardness. Now we are going to design the experiments using the Minitab 19 and the process is exactly similar in other versions of Minitab as well. For that we go to the stat and we go to the design of experiment. Since this is a screening design, screening design means we do not yet know which factors are more responsible or which factors should be taken that affect the response or in this case harness of the tablet. So, after clicking the screening, we should click the create the screening design. Now, we have uh, two options here, definitive screening and placket Borman screening. You can know about these two types of design in detail by clicking the help tab. So, here we have two options here, definitive screening and placket Borman. Okay, let's choose the placket Borman screening. In fact, this experiment is uh, good for both definitive screening and packet Borman screening. So how many factors do we have? We have 11 number of factors. So from the drop down menu, we select the 11. Before moving further, I want to stress a particular thing here. We can click the display available design here with the resolution. Here it says available factorial design with the resolution. We have 11 number of factors. So Run means doing the experiment. We have 11 number of factors. So in order to screen, we have to do the experiment 128 number of times given by the green signal here. The yellow color shows that we can also do 32 types of experiments or 64 types of experiment. But if we do the experiment only 16 number of times, then probably there is for 11 number of factors, there is a chance of error. 
So for factor A to 11, the number of runs works based at 12, 20, 24 and 48. The higher the number of runs, the better is the experiment. Suppose we want to do experiment 32 number of times, although it is not quite yet perfect. For the sake of simplicity, we can choose the number of runs anywhere close by. Suppose we took 36. Now, if we choose replicate, we means that for each experiment, we can repeat it one time. Okay, let's select one time and block on replicates. Then after clicking, these numbers are generated in different worksheet. Now, if you conduct the similar experiment in a Minitab 2017 version, you can see this kind of window. There are different uh, kinds of design, general full factory design, flagged Bormann design and other kinds of design. In the similar way, you can select the number of factors. The same window available designs can also be looked in this tab. If I select the 38 number of runs and if I conduct the experiment. Now what does this A, B, C, D, E, F, Z, A, Z, K, L means? This simply means the factors which are written over here. So factor A means it is the size of the granule and B means it is density of the granule. Similarly, there are 11 number of factors here. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 number of factors here. We can also name these factors with their respective name instead of A, B, C, D, E, etc. For that, we can go to the screening design, create screening design, and go to the factors. And instead of the E, we can write the size, then density. So for all the factors A, B, C, D, I've changed the factor name as A, B, C, D to the real name, size, density, ratio of granules and mixing time, etc. So these are all the numeric types of factors. If we have a text factor, we can also select that. These are all the numeric terms. We can also select between the high and low. Minus one here denotes the lowest value or the lowest size that we observe, lowest size of the granule. And one means the highest size of the granule. Similarly, a ratio of a size means lowest ratio to highest ratio mixing time, lowest mixing time to highest mixing time, lowest granulation time to highest granulation time. Instead of minus one and one, you can also write the sizes if you know. For example, if size is between say 100 micron to 1000 micron, I can write that data here for ease. I'll only write from minus 1 to 1, meaning from the lowest size to the highest size of the measurement. Let's click OK. So I've changed the name here density, ratio of size, size. So, first of all, one thing to understand is that for screening purpose, I have to take the 36 number of runs here. That means in the first experiment, I have to take maximum size granules with the minimum density, minimum ratio of size. I have to tumble that. I have to mix that for maximum time. But the granulation time must be lowest. Moisture should be lowest. It should be highly adhesive with the maximum force, but with lowest speed. So in this way, I have to conduct 36 number of experiments. 